and uh, we're going to have a great night tonight. I was just uh, uh, reading about the wine that we're going to be sampling tonight. It's the same one we we uh, are going to sample next week as well. It's a rosé from France, and uh, frankly, I've been sampling it as well as reading about it. We'll talk about that and more. We're going to have a great dish tonight. It's uh, vegan. I think you could add uh, some protein if you wanted to uh, in terms of chicken or even pork, beef. We'll find that out. Anyway, uh, this is Mark Allen Cooks Your Dinner. I am Mark Allen, and we are on the air. Welcome to Mark Allen Cooks Your Dinner. Uh, we're going to have some fun tonight. We are cooking a truffled cauliflower soup with a new friend. And uh, we've already done a video and we've had many conversations. And this is a heart healthy menu. Well, let's bring Dr. Vesna School in and uh, say hello to her. Well, hi, Mark. Hi, everybody. Delighted to be doing what is the most fun uh, part of my CV, and that is cooking uh, and cooking hard, healthy, and, and generally healthy. So and, thank you for having me. Oh, our pleasure. And it's funny, the way we talked about that was that good idea. Thank you, Vesna. Uh, we can see all of her, <laughs> your face now. Um, we were talking, and I asked, Vesna lives in Chicago, and we are live from Chicago. I'm here in uh, Southern California in Ventura County. And I said to Vesna, I said, have you ever been to, or do you know of, one of my favorite Chicago restaurants? And that's the Purple uh, purple Pig. And she, she goes like this. She goes, yeah, it's still there. It's right across the street. So <laughs> we, we, we knew we were foodies together, right? Indeed, yeah. So uh, before we start cooking, let's, oh, I know, I have to toast. Now, I know that, that you're not, you're off of wine now, right? Well, I'll toast, well, this is really so not appropriate, but I'll toast with my- There you go. Clear water, water okay. because as of yesterday, I am doing no wine for Lent. So gotcha. cheers. This is a nice rosé. It's seven bucks, six ninety nine at Trader Joe's. A lot of our products today that Vesna uh, asked me to get comes from Trader Joe's, from the cauliflower, uh, some seasoning, um, and we even have truffle oil from Trader Joe's. Uh, I'm going to start uh, sautéing some purple onion and garlic. Which goes in first? The I usually put in the onion. Got it. But, it takes longer. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. let's turn the heat on. I'm going to put in some Italian uh, organic um, olive oil. We have quite a bit of onion, so I'm putting maybe a little bit there. We'll let that heat up for a moment. Maybe that, did, I don't know, Carol, does that help a little? I just thought of that. Uh, we turn on another light. Um, you are from Croatia. That's correct. That's and correct. Tell us about that. Uh, I understand the food there is extraordinary. It's magnificent. Um, the range is quite impressive from the continental cuisine, which really is taking more after the Austrian and, and creamier and heartier dishes with more meat and, um, and dairy to my favorite uh, coastal Adriatic Mediterranean cuisine mm. uh, that uh, you know, is abundant uh, in fresh seafood, uh, very uh, lightly, just wilted grains and uh, a variety of fruits and vegetable, other vegetables, olives and, and figs um, that oh. all blend just absolutely beautifully. And uh, little known to the uh, gastronomic world uh, is the section of Northern Adriatic uh, uh, called Istria 
that I'm going to put the onions in now. I think it's yep. Enough. That that uh, is one of the most exquisite regions uh, for black truffles and white truffles. But, um, and I'm going to stir that around. Oh, excuse me for one second. Um, the uh, I, I don't know this, and it just occurred to me. You know, going to France and Italy, Spain can be a little pricey. Is Croatia a good deal to travel? Uh, still for is. American? Still is. Very. Yeah, still uh, is. You know, if if you have been to Amalfi Coast, enjoyed it. Um, think of the Adriatic, the eastern side of the Adriatic. Not, Italian side is not as exciting, but Croatian side has over a thousand islands in oh. in a very magnificent seashore. I want to go. <laughs> and you know, uh, authenticity of home cooked meals and fresh fish from the sea to your plate in a few hours. So it's a it's still a uh, remarkably affordable and uh i am totally biased um i think even nicer than a malfi coast so i i see you added some garlic i added the and, garlic do you think and you can never go anything? you can never go wrong with the quantity of garlic the more no. the better no i we i'm a big garlic fan and i think garlic is healthy for you um, garlic and onion especially red onion are oh. very good sources of quercetin and quercetin has been you know in the in the uh, news quite a bit um, in the last two years because it is remarkably powerful antioxidant should be part of everyone's covid regimen of protection wow. so it you know quercetin befalls in the category of uh, polyphenols and those are the the antioxidant found in in colorful fruits and vegetables but uh, uh, even though garlic doesn't have the pigment, it contains quite a lot of it. Great for cardiovascular health um, in particular, and also a wonderful anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial. Um, I'm, I'm curious about something, and that is uh, the, uh, the, the truffles. Now, you kindly sent me some truffles. I mean, this was above and beyond the call, and we're going to grate one of these into the into the soup tonight. I can't wait. Um, I'm going to ask you to give us a little history or background on truffles, including um, uh, how the pigs and dogs find them. You told us yep. about the pigs before, and I could not believe it. I thought that was exciting. Um, I'm going to add the cauliflower. Do you think it's ready? Yep. I think so. Now, this is a bag of organic, um, nothing riced. but riced mm -hmm. cauliflower. Very often used as a rice substitute and with a, a tenth of the calories and really uh, absorbing the taste of, you know, wonderful uh, ingredients that you serve it with. So it's a versatile food. And... Some have actually, um, some foodies have stated that, you know, if the truffle is a king of winter produce, the cauliflower is the queen. So I, they, I, they go very well together. Got it. it, it I mean, it's smelling good. Of course, the onion. I'm, I, I have a question about the purple onion. Do I need any more oil in there to cook the... Um, it you know you can never go wrong with adding another swing of, of good uh, olive oil, so you can definitely add a little bit more. And you told me earlier that you can cook this with sa uh, sunflower oil or even avocado oil, right? Yeah, the, the oils that sustain you know uh, high temperature cooking, although we are sautéing it and not really using. Uh, too high of a temperature because that would diminish the uh, nutritional benefits of olive oil, which uh, is best used in low to medium heat or oh, sprinkle. I didn't see. 
Uh, I, we have people watching. We have uh, Tom Martin. Uh, can I train my beagle to find truffles here in Connecticut? <laughs> well, I don't think they quite grow in Connecticut. So as to the growing regions of the world, uh, we mentioned, of course, I started with the least known uh, and the closest to my heart, that's the peninsula of Istria, where uh, Istrian truffle grows uh, around the town of Mo Motavun in a highly wooded area, sort of um, um, in, in, in a... a in a damp uh, underground, up to three feet underground. Mm -hmm. um, and it, they're growing seasons. The winter season usually starts in uh, November, December and goes through early March. And then there is a short summer season, mostly for white truffle, not so much for the black truffle. Uh, I have some North comments for us. Uh, uh, Chef Inez, uh Shatas from who was on last week, and yes. we, we're going to have her back. You're going to come back. We're going to have you guys as regulars. Um, uh, loves this recipe. Well, I'll send you'll you'll be able to see it, and everybody will be able to see it on. Um, you know on why YouTube. I like it? I like it, Mark, because it is for. It's kind of like uh, gourmets for dummies or dumb you know, the, the the dummy series books. Right. Anybody can do it, right? Uh, it, and it, it, I think that more and more people are dabbling in home cooking and have during the pandemic, yet not feeling very uh, comfortable in the kitchen. Single ingredient recipes are sort of my uh, my love, and I think my forte. I can create something really beautiful and 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 gourmet from just a simple uh, couple of ingredients. The same recipe can be duplicated and you can create a cream of broccoli soup, which is vegan and um, never seen cream. Now, clearly you can add heavy cream or sour cream to these dishes, but if we're keeping them vegan and heart healthy and uh, weight conscious healthy, right. then we can accomplish the, the wonderful taste without adding the dairy. Uh, Marcia Steed uh, from D.C., Washington, D.C., says she loves your knowledge of the truffles. Love that story. Heidi Nickerson, one of our favorite people in the world, uh, and Jeff uh, are watching from uh, Portland, Oregon. So we appreciate that. Well, and that's where that's where the Tom uh, Tom's dog could maybe go and and dig for truffles. But it's a special <laughs> art, and I think they don't teach it in typical puppy training school. Um, so pigs are really um, better accustomed to finding truffles, primarily because of the, the pungent uh, smell of a truffle is primarily coming from one of its ingredients uh, called androstenol, and it is actually a uh, male sex steroid hormone that pigs have in their saliva. So it really, uh, female pigs go crazy digging for truffles. So, so they are female pigs that are used. Mostly not, female pigs mostly are, female are, pigs. are uh, digging for truffles. So, and as so I as could turn, so I could turn on female pigs with this. <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna eat it first, Mark. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna eat it. I'd rather not do that. Uh, we're cooking the uh, cauliflower, the onions and the garlic. What do we do next? So, you know, typically when that's cooked through, um, I let it cool to room temperature and uh, mix in my either homemade, but again, if this is for people who are not really handy in the kitchen, you can, you can buy wonderful organic <laughs> uh, vegetable broth. So add the broth, add the spices. I, I would probably even toss in some spices now to make them blend with the, uh, with the okay. onions. And, the, and you uh, recommended, by the way, uh, Trader Joe's 21 seasoning salute. So, I may have to do that again. Uh, so, somebody's going to ask me, by the way, about cooking. Uh, I'm in my house, and I don't wear shoes or socks. So occasionally you're going to see my flat feet. I'm sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> how much, uh, how much of the seasoning should I put in? It is entirely up to your palate, Mark. Right. Uh, I would start with, you know, I never measure anything. 
Um, no. But this has some kick to it. So, you know, if people don't like it spicy and peppery, then go lightly. You can always add once you Ooh, mix it everything together. It smells really nice. Okay, I'm going to put in, well, that's probably too much. Yeah, the, there. there you go. You're good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll stir that up. Uh, Tom is convinced that uh, our ratings are going to go up because we're talking about sexy food. Well, not quite. I think that uh, equating piggies with with sex <laughs> not, not quite the draw. Donna is uh, calling us from um, uh, checking in. Thank you, Donna. We really appreciate it from New York. She loves this recipe. It's really simple. It, it really is. Um, and um, I, and you know what I also what yeah, I well, like about about it, Mark, is that if you have any leftovers, I use that as a base for my Tuscan kale and uh, white bean soup, which mm. is a great soup uh, for winter nights in Chicago. And I use it, with, it, and, it and there's no need again to do any dairy or uh, make a roux because it will be provide us with the thickness and the flavors just blend beautifully. I actually, since you're not cooking that, I pulled up a photo. It smells, and, oh, this smells very good. I don't good. know if, if photo shows, we'll see. So this is, whoops. Oop, go ahead. Uh, the other way. <laughs> it's backwards. There Why, and yeah, look there at a little bit. Oh, look at that. So that's basically the leftover cauliflower soup and uh, wilted kale and sauteed veggies and uh, uh, tomatoes, peppers, uh, uh, again, more garlic and onions and, and mm. celery and cannellini beans all mixed together. Voila. Again, all done. All of my recipes are always under 30 minutes. This one is literally like eight minutes. Yeah, but I'm making it a little bit longer. We should also point out that in addition to be a, being a, a, a marvelous doctor and internist and very interested in heart health, we'll talk about that in just a second, Vesna is a certified raw chef. Now, this isn't raw because we are cooking it, but you told me we could have made it raw. But we actually could have, you know, just put the riced cauliflower in with the other ingredients um, in a blender and created it as a raw um, soup. Now, how do you make raw, raw soup warm? Well, raw food is still raw if you heat it up to about 110 degrees. So it can be definitely warm, but still have all of the uh, value and nutrients of living food. Uh, Brenda Gold. Yeah, I, Brenda Gold is uh, checking in. She's making cauliflower soup along with us. Uh, Brenda, let us know where you are. We'd love to know. Uh, I'm going to awesome. stir this one more time. And we really appreciate your doing this. Um, we have a variety of chefs that are coming on. We have um, a young lady. Um, Lillian is going to cook with us. Lillian is from Brazil. And she's going to cook with us shortly. Uh, we've got a number of people that... Um, our, we, we just can't wait. Uh, we, we've got some. Chicago. I'm sorry? Brenda's from Chicago. Oh, Brenda's from Chicago. Oh, from Chicagoland. Okay. Chicagoland, yeah. Okay. What I'm going to do now, I think, do I put the the cauliflower mixture into the blender yet? Or do well, I... you can add the broth, you know, because okay. you don't want to explode your, your Vitamix with the uh, piping hot uh, right. mixture. Mixture. So I would just add the broth and then go and I'm right away. A, an organic vegetable broth. Oh, do I turn it off? The, uh, the, What's that? the yeah, I think you can. Uh, and then you, you'll warm it up because it'll be, you know, maybe a little too lukewarm. Ooh. I think that'll do it. Maybe we'll add some more. We'll see. It, it's 
it's not soupy, as you can see, but it's mm -hmm. well cooked. Yep. So I should, I'm going to put that go. into the into the Vitamix, okay? Yes. And what I've done is I've moved the Vitamix. I'll put that here. And then I'll get as much of this into there as I can. I'm going to scoop it like that. And we're putting that in. Other than the oil, which I used really very little, mm -hmm. um, this, would this be a low calorie meal? Very low calorie meal. Typically a cup of cauliflower, Mark, is about uh, 27 calories. But really, when you think about it, uh, consuming like at least two cups in a, in a, in a bowl. Um, so you're talking about a little over 50 calories. Add to it the oil and, and the other condiments. Un, uh, under 150 calories for a, a bowl of wow. this, this soup. Now, if we garnish it with, with oil and some other things, it can go up, but not by much. So You actually told me uh, and I did not find it. I didn't. I didn't look for it. I'm not a pumpkin guy, but um, that I guess in Croatia you use yes. pumpkin oil. Well, uh, for garnish, uh, for garnish. The, it, it just has a wonderful uh, flavor that you know is. is I have to, we'll have to try that. All right, I'm going to turn this on so it's going to make a little noise, and I'm going to bring it up. Slowly. Mm -hmm. Look, Mom, I'm making soup. I'm going to have to turn that up a little bit more. Yeah, because you want it really finely pulverized into a creamy consistency. And this looks like it may use a tiny bit more broth but it's again individually dependent if you want it a little thinner you make it thinner the key is to yeah. really use something like a vitamix or a ninja Laurie or a hoffman thank you and she says dr skull is the best um and oh, it's a great oh, recipe cool. so Lori's on well hi Lori. Lori is um a dear friend and a patient and she is a vegetarian um, maybe even vegan, I forgot. So, so I think that this is right up your alley, Laurie. All right, I'm gonna. I spilled a little bit. Oops. Okay. All right, we're gonna take this now. Ellie uh, Murphy, uh, can't wait to try it. Denise Anderson, Mike says, hey. You're making some yummy soup. It looks great. It is. Come on down. Come on over. Uh, Ellie Murphy, where are you from? We know that Denise and Mike Anderson are from uh, Chatsworth. They already said that in the uh, comments. All right. I'm going to pour this back. And it is creamy. Mm -hmm. It smells divine. Now, for, for people who are carnivores, and I have to admit that while I, I do try to eat uh, vegetarian uh, or vegan, once a week I'll eat eggplant, I'll eat, um, and I've got that on a medium heat. Oh, mm -hmm. from Chicago too. Oh, thank you, Elle. Uh, from Chicago. Carol's from Chicago, though she grew up mostly out here. Um, My Chicago Chicago friends are joining, so yeah. you're on. Uh, it's, and, and we really appreciate everybody uh, uh, 
uh, tuning in. I mean, it, it's just, it's, it's, it's heartwarming. I hit my microphone. Um, so one little suggestion, sure. looking at the soup, I would add a tiny bit more broth. Gotcha. Uh, you, uh, okay, you're watching, so. Yeah, just stir it to, to see. Yeah, because it's still it's still kind of mashed potatoy, and it really should yes. be more soupy. Yeah. Okay, so, so I should put a little bit more in. A little more. Mm -hmm. How's that? Well, let's see when you stir it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's thinned out a little bit now. Yes. Yes, it has to be creamy, but it also has to be a soup. Okay. I think that's good, and I've still got it on that heat. Yeah, just, just bring it to, you know, desired. It's cooked effectively. It doesn't need any more right. cooking. And we can just transfer it to a beautiful a thing. Bowl. Before we and, do that, I'll just let it heat a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to talk about this. Um, you talk about it. I mean, this is a new product. And I'm going to turn it there. It's called Endo uh, Calyx Pro. It is for uh, cardiovascular and uh, health. I've been taking it for a couple of weeks now, and it um, it's easy to take. And uh, Vesna was uh, kind enough to uh, to uh, give it to me. We have a little flying friend over here. Um, Carol kills him. I don't. I'm really bad at that. But anyway, tell us about this product very quickly. Well, it's a new revolutionary patented. Um, nutraceutical that actually draws from the richness of the Mediterranean uh, uh, ingredients. And, uh, you know, as you know, the Blue Zone people, um, some of them uh, live in Sardinia, some in Greece, uh, among other places around the globe, but Mediterranean diet and Mediterranean uh, nutri nutritional components and ingredients of this, including olive, artichoke, red and, and white grape, um, and uh, a, a comprise remarkable basis for uh, restoration, repair, and protection of something called endothelial glycophalyx, which is a- You have to go to uh, medical school to say that. because well, no So just think of it as a uh, shag carpeting lining of the smallest- to the medium to the large and largest vessels in the body, but required to protect the um, capillaries from damage and from uh, um, toxins and um, uh, oxidated bad cholesterol to and platelets to adhere to the lining of the capillaries. And, and when I that have to, I, I have to tell you that uh, I've heard from some testimonials about this product and the fact that it lowers blood pressure. And I know that at least one person has, uh, their husband uh, was uh, taken off. Um, blood pressure medication. Yes, yep. exactly. Uh, Tom Martin wants to know if you could stay that very long medical term fast three times. I can say it even more than three times, Tom. Okay, good. Let's. Uh, <laughs> but it's gonna... not required. It's not required of my patients, friends, or relatives to reproduce Got that. It. I wish. I wish Vesna was out here, even though she's with the Comprehensive Center for Women's Health, and I missed a, a comma on there. Um, she also uh, does uh, uh, have a certain percentage of men as patients, and I would switch to you in eight seconds. Okay. We, I, I do telemedicine, oh, bear that right. in mind. There you go. That silver lining of COVID has allowed us to do a lot of work in this manner. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move the base of the Vitamix. Stay right there. And now I'm going to come back with my ladle. Take a scoop of this and put it in the bowl. It's almost got a consistency of like oatmeal. Yeah, we'll it could it be a little thinner. It, it really is, you know, what you want it to be. Um, I personally like a thick soup. Now, yeah, oh, 
Now comes the piece de resistance. Yes. Um, the oil first and then the truffle slice. Uh -huh. Yep, right. yep. Ooh, suck it in, suck it in. Um, Carol, can you uh, go to the other camera? There you go. And I'm going to add just a little bit of the truffle oil. This is black truffle oil. Um, it's actually mixed with, mixed with um, olive oil. And then mm -hmm. I'm going to take this. And this is a truffle. I, I, I took a little piece of it out earlier. Yeah, you, it looks like you did. <laughs> I did. And it smells so good. So I'm going to grate some. You tell me how much. I. You can never go too much with truffles, in my opinion. But, you know, starting there. Um, typically, when you dine in a restaurant, it's like sold or, or, or added to dishes by grams. And in Excuse a small, me. Well, and yeah. apparently inhaled. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, so that's the recipe, folks. You know, it's it could very be simple. simple. So yep. here we go. It's not too hot. Uh, I've said this several times. When we first started the show, I just dug right in and burned my mouth and had to do the hot hot, hot <laughs> mouth dance. And I, it's really silly. It's kind of related to the chicken dance that you see at weddings bar mitzvahs, that kind of thing. So I'm going to taste this now. Mm. This is good. Oh, that's nice. And I know it's Vesna's recipe, but I cooked it. And I do like my own cooking. You can, it's not patented. It's <laughs> not <laughs> protected. So call it your own. And, you know, you were asking about pairing and uh, uh, what proteins, one could totally add protein to it. Or what they do in Istria is uh, they pair it with a beautiful, typically red. Well, this is a yeah, French red. This is a very uh, nice wine. There yeah. are some, there are some lovely reds in Istria and uh, crusty bread. Ooh. And some absolutely fabulous goat cheese, medium to you know aged, as well as prosciutto. Oh. So you could bring in you could bring in the protein and the goodness of the uh, prosciutto, and that is often how it's served. Would you would you grate the the prosciutto? Or chop it no, you just to eat it by the side, or you could chop it, but you know it's usually eaten oh. um, with the crusty bread that you can you can dunk in the pumpkin oil or the truffle oil. Now, what I sometimes do to mine, I grind. This is oh, I'm I'm Pepper. confused. Yeah, I know it's very confusing. So this is this is a nutmeg mill. So these ah. are whole nutmegs and then you know a little bit of you can make it into whatever you want so if you I, don't like nutmeg which i understand you don't I we do didn't not. use it but yeah. i i think it's better not to have mixed it because the truffles are the key oh this is uh, this is fabulous the, the queen, the queen uh, and the and the king of the recipe uh listen Vesna, will you come back sometime Oh, uh, to talk about food anytime. <laughs> and especially if I can talk about the food that can, that heals, that gives me even greater pleasure. We will do that again. I, I look forward to that. Uh, Vesna Skoll, uh, medical doctor from, from Chicago, the Comprehensive Center for Women's uh, Medicine. Um, I thank everybody, Marsha and Tom and Heidi. Um, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Ellie, uh, can you give me some other names there, uh, Carol, at the top? Yeah, just pull it down. We have we, uh, our chef, 
Chef, thank you very much, uh, uh, Chef uh, Shatis uh, from Miami. Um, yeah, you got it there, I think. Well, maybe not. Anyway, listen, we're very casual here at Mark Allen Cooks You Dinner. If you have any comments, please write us at markallencooks uh, at gmail. And if you want to cook on the show, let me know what you want to cook. Uh, we're open. Uh, listen, thank you very much. We're going to do something a little bit different now. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. -bye. Oh, next time we're going to be doing a Thai red curry. Really, really good. We'll see you next time. Bye. -bye. Sounds fabulous. Thank, Thank you, Mark. You. Thank you, Vesna.